thumbs up. This was the best episode of the season of Flash on Market. I'm counting it. Mark it down on your calendars. Mark it down in your notes. If you guys are watching the video, if any of my viewers or fans are watching this video, I have to say that this <clears throat> was the best episode of The Flash. So this is Flash episode one, the Flash season one, episode four review entitled Going Home. Awesome, awesome episode. Really, really good. I'm just going to highlight some key points with this and I'm going to go into a discussion here. So... What this episode deals with is Flash stopping a robbery, and the robbery who we who we successfully stops deals with a actor who we know from Prison Break, which is Wentworth Miller or Michael Schofield, as we all know. So he's starring in this episode, and they said in an article that he would star in this episode. I'm not sure if his brother will, but I know Wentworth Miller stars in this episode. He does a phenomenal job as uh, one of the uh, lead villains within this series. So but what Wentworth Miller wants to do is he wants to have a device that could basically slow down or stop or even kill the Flash or Barry Allen. So what he does is he gets this uh, weapon called the Cold Gun, and it was made by Cisco. And if you don't know who Cisco is, Cisco is one of the characters or comrades of the Flash or Barry Allen, and he basically made the weapon, and that is why, uh, what's, his, what's that guy's name? Um... Uh, Dr. Wells, Dr. Wells, that's the reason why he was so upset, because <clears throat> it was simply because that he created this weapon, and this weapon was to stop Flash in case he got out of control and lost anger, and they couldn't stop him, and he went on a killing spree, they would have a weapon that could stop him, and how they stop him is this weapon can freeze to absolute zero, freeze temperatures to ab absolute zero, which can stop the Flash, and that's the only way to stop him, and it also slows down his regeneration ability, his speed, and his recovery as well, too. Just just a tad bit. Just a tad bit. So, uh, you also see within this episode Joe's relationship with uh, with with Iris's boyfriend. It's starting to get a little better because in this episode, uh, the, the, the uh, boyfriend of Iris actually saves, saves Joe. And that's something good to see. Felicity also makes an appearance within this episode, too, which is pretty cool because you're starting to see that the chemistry is starting to develop within... Um, Felicity and Barry Allen. I'm not sure if that's going to transcend or, tr or progress any further uh, than it is now, especially if Arrow is on episode or season three and it's only in season one. I'm not sure how the time period is uh, going to play into effect within this uh, series. But nonetheless, I do enjoy seeing the chemistry between Barry Allen and Felicity. Wonderful, wonderful. I really think they'll make a good couple. I just want to see what goes on from there. So now... I'm not going to tell you what happens between the climactic battle between The Flash and uh, Wentworth Miller or, as his name goes in the series, Leonard Snart. I'm not going to tell you the, uh, the ending, but I can tell you that the battle was good and it definitely leaves for a, 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 good, a good opening for uh, ep future episodes to come. I, de I definitely don't want to see this character or this villain to be destroyed within... Uh, within the next couple of episodes, because I am familiar with uh, this villain. If this is the villain that I'm thinking about, because he also wears a hood, too, and he does have on shades. Um, this is one of the spoiler alerts, so if you guys don't want to hear this part, go ahead and just cut off the video right here, because it's definitely spoiler territory. And so just go to cut the video off right here. Now, the guy, which is uh, Leonard Snart, he was actually the one who killed... Um, Flash, if I'm not, if, I, if I'm mistaken, I'm sorry about that. Please correct me if I'm wrong. But from what I read in the comics, well, not the comics, but what I read in the um, uh, Marvel Encyclopedia was that this guy killed Barry Allen in the comics. Now, I'm not sure if they're going to do it in the TV series. Of course, not going to do it in the TV series. But I don't think they're going to do that within this series because, of course, Flash and Barry Allen is an iconic character. They're not going to kill him off, of course. But um, he is going to give him some trouble. Because he doesn't know how to actually defeat this guy. And this machine that the, the, the main villain of the series shoots, um, the main villain of this episode rather, shoots out. It's just as, it's about as fast as the Flash runs. So he's running this speed, he shoots it. And as you can see in the episode, there's actually a person who dies, which is another spoiler I'm going to tell you. But the person actually dies because the Flash couldn't make it there fast enough to stop him and move out of the way at the same time. So that guy within the episode ultimately met his demise. But nonetheless, this was a very good episode. I'm definitely looking forward to uh, next week's episode and to see what transpires from here on out. 
uh, with this series. So with that being said, guys, this was a very, very good episode. How would I rate it? I would definitely rate it an 8 out of 10. No, wait, excuse me, not an 8 out of 10, a 9 out of 10. Because uh, it was a flawless episode. The only thing that I have a problem with was the um, was the ending. And this is just you know me seeing it right after I watched it. So this is a right after I watched review. But the reason why is because they want to keep, keep that villain around for a longer time. And definitely I agree with that because he's one of those villains that you don't want to kill him off too early. And you want to have a proper death. And you want him to uh, build Barry Allen's character even more. So with that being said, guys, I'm going to check you guys at the end of the video. Peace. Sanada. See you guys later.